So today I was thrilled to get my iTech World i300P power station. So was Fifi, look, she's there looking. Um, now, my, I would love to see whether I could operate my washing machine with this i300. Now, first thing to do is to check how much watts. Now, if you have a look here, it says 2100 watts. Now that's too much because it's only for 1300 watt items. But, <laughs> I'm going to see if it works if I do cold water because I think that the cold water will use much less than hopefully much less than 1300 watts. Nothing is quite perfect yet which I'll show you once this is running but let's just press play and see what goes on. Hopefully in a second it'll start doing its thing. So. I haven't quite got the taps right. I actually didn't have them done up properly at all. So they actually fell off. They actually like blew apart and water went everywhere, which is not good. And there's still a bit of a leak, but I'm determined to see if this works. So I've set it to 30 minutes. I've put it on, oh, I didn't put on the lower spin. I put it on 800 for the spin and cold for the water. Like I initially put it for 400 and then I had to press pause really quickly when um, this tap kind of exploded so as you can see this is not the way I'll usually do it oh and to explain I don't have the setup to attach a normal set of washing machine taps hence why this is what I've done um, so just so you know it's safe I believe it's safe because that's over there that's nowhere near any power this is here, it's fine. Um, I've got the water that comes out of the washing machine will go into here. Uh, behind this and up off the, off the ground is the power plug. And we have my iTech world just there. I just don't want to get it wet. Uh, inside this uh, here, there is a little sign that says 2100 watts it needs but because it's not heating up anything I don't think that the power station is going to have a problem in operating because most of the watts would be used heating the water because that's what front loaders do they heat water and that I imagine is what the 2100 watts is I mean I might have a problem because I selected 800 for the spin but maybe that's okay I don't know whether that means watts or something else but yeah I've got cold water so let's just see what happens um, I will leave this to continue on its merry way look at it because <laughs> I'll be doing hand washing and hand washing is uh, not fun but it's okay um, so yeah I'll just need to fix this problem um, and hopefully it will be okay. This is usually where Fifi's um, food is, but because it had water in it, of course, I moved it. So she's getting the things that I dropped. <laughs> so that's why Fifi's here. Everything's going good. Um, let's see what the power station says. Um, look at them, 127, 130 watts, 75, zero. Isn't that interesting? Now that probably means there's going to be an error <laughs> in a second. Oh no, here we go. Alright, well look, this looks positive. I'm really happy. Fifi's in the way. Yes, this place needs a clean, but I'm, I'm, I'm busy trying to get everything together still. Um, like I said, Fifi's food nearly sits, usually sits here. Um, so that's why she's um, jumping in and is suddenly hungry. But isn't that interesting? Look, that's how many watts are currently being used and it's on cold water. Okay, so there's been some action. Looks like there's water coming out of the machine. Look at the filthiness of it. Oh my gosh. Um, that's how effective my hand washing is. <laughs> okay, 17 minutes to go. This is the rinse cycle. So I imagine there's more um, water coming in. 
Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the carpet. It was a random piece of carpet, so it's okay. I'm not heartbroken. 14 minutes. And I, I selected quick 30. And I, as I said, I selected 800 for this spin. And I wasn't sure whether that was Watts or, or something else. I was going to do 400 just in case. And I'm thinking even like you could check if you did want hot water for some reason, you could just try um, on a, like an elimination basis of, gosh, will I select 30, will I select 40, 60? Welcome back. Uh, it looks like we're doing a spin cycle, which is exciting. <laughs> now uh, my rubbish bin is filling up rapidly. Now the only reason why that is going there rather than into um, something like a tub or out the window with a hose is I just didn't have the right connections. Um, so this is only a temporary situation. I just really, 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 really wanted to check if my washing machine worked. Okay, so as you can see, it's doing the full spin thing. Let's have a look at what the power station is drawing right now. I think it's gone under, under over 200 watts the whole time. Isn't that amazing? Um, I mean, I'm going to check with iTechWell, but I'm like, huh, maybe I can plug in my 300 watt to run this. I'm not sure. There's a warning. Um, if you read the, um, the little 300 watt um, instructions, it says don't plug in fridges unless you're using a 12 volt. Um, and of course the washing machine isn't a fridge. Um, but <laughs> it says um, if you do, it voids your warranty. Now it's not this one, this is a 1300p. But if you read the instructions for the 300 watt one that I have four of, um, it does say don't plug in fridges. But given that this hasn't gone over like, it, I don't think it's gone over 180 watts. Um, maybe I can use my little power stations to operate a, a washing machine. Who would have thought? Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to run it past my tech wheel before I do it. Um, but this is very promising. And also note, um, while you're watching this, just keep in mind that I didn't have it on hot water or anything like that. I just had it on cold water. Um, so this is the first test. Obviously, if I had it on, oh, there you go. It did go up to 200 just a moment ago. But um, yeah, so just keep in mind when I say that it's, it's it hasn't gone over 200. Just keep in mind that it's not been using hot water, and then I did uh, put the spin to be lower. Um, so just keep that in mind. Don't think, oh, I'm going to plug in my washing machine and use hot water and I'm going to plug in a 2100 watt appliance as per the tag that you saw and it's going to work. It's not going to work. It's going to switch off your right tech world um, power station. <laughs> um, so just keep that in mind. Um, the hose is doing that thing, you know, when you've got a hose outside and you switch it on and suddenly it just flies around like a wild um, whatever. Um, you see, see how it's moving? Um, wow, I'm beyond thrilled. Look at what you can do with the power of the sun. Um, wow. I, I, I wonder, I wonder if I could use the 300 watt ones. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Gosh, now I'm a plumber. <laughs> Not a very good plumber, but um uh 
I might do a little, little bit more, take some more water out. Gosh, I hope it doesn't fill up. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and find um, something I can connect to the end of this hose sometime next week. I have run out of money, <laughs> as always. And I'm also saving money on... Oh my God, it made it! <laughs> 